Hi, I'm Cynthia Arthur. This is Hubby Terry. We are members of First Baptist Church of Benson, and we have been asked if we would do a devotion from a book called Stepping Forward, 39-Day Walk Through Ephesians. I will be reading the scripture, and Terry's going to start out with insight. The name of this particular uh, page is The Effect of the Gifts. I will be reading from Ephesians chapter 4, 14 through 16. As a result, we are no longer to be children tossed here and there by waves and carried about by every wind of doctrine, by the trickery of men, by craftiness and deceitful scheming, but speaking the truth in love. We are to grow up in all aspects into him who is the head, even Christ, from whom the whole body being fitted and held together by what every joint supplies according to the proper working of each individual part causes the growth of the body for the building up of itself in love. And the insight is uh, when the body of Christ is using its gifts to minister to one another, we in turn begin to effectively grow spiritually. We start to move away from the need of milk and on to a more of the meat of God's word. <clears throat> and we thereby mature together. As a result, we are no longer swayed by many of the attacks of the enemy. The enemy would like nothing more than to infiltrate and corrupt the church with false doctrine. He looks for those who are trying to go it alone and those who feel they do not need the other parts of the body of Christ. When the enemy finds us in this position, we are susceptible to being led astray. We will he will encourage us to share with others his lies and deceit, thus harming God's people. It is extremely important that God's people not be separated from each other. <clears throat> we need one another. That's the way God designed us and the church. We are to minister to other believers with the gifts God has provided that we are strong, grounded, and not easily influenced by the crafty schemer. God's people are too valuable to be left alone and not utilized. And the enemy knows this very well. If he can convince us that we don't need other brothers and sisters in Christ, then we fall hard and be then we will fall hard and be brought under his devious influence. The church must function together, not individually. We must serve each other and not abandon our family in Christ. When we operate according to God's will, the effect of his gifts being used will be growth and stability. Not utilizing his gifts will create an outcome that is damaging and dividing. If we have a desire to grow in our knowledge of Jesus Christ and to allow him to be Lord of every area of our life, then we must conclude that the church is one unit, one house, and one body, and that we are a part of it. Jesus is the head of this body, and we all function under him. If we are to prosper in our spiritual maturity, then we must utilize our gifts and serve God's people. Okay. The challenge is uh, this. The gifts of our Lord are given by his wonderful grace. They are given to change lives, to help others in times of need, to encourage growth, and to maintain unity. They are valuable and precious resources. Each of us has been given at least one spiritual gift, and each of us is responsible to develop it and use it. Where are you at today? Are you doing what God has called you to do? Maybe your gift is encouraging others. If so, who have you encouraged today? Maybe your gift is teaching. If so, who have you taught recently? Maybe you have a special gift in the area of prayer. But are you praying? 
whatever gift God has given you, refrain from putting it on the back burner. Let it, letting it set and be forgotten. You have been hand delivered a wonderful tool that is needed and wanted. The church needs you to do what God has called you to do. It will benefit the church enormously because it's the way God created the church to function. What are you doing with what the Lord has graciously given you? Yep. All right, we're going to pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for gifting us. Thank you for accepting us as your people uh, to all who will receive you. Father, we ask that uh, we will seek you for the gift that you have blessed us with and that you have uh, predestined us to you to utilize for your people and your church. Father, may we grow it in spiritual maturity through the Holy Spirit and your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.